Hello, Starseeds. How are you all doing? I am back with another message. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now, God. Emmanuel, God with us. Yahweh Elohim, we welcome you, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins. Thank you for covering us with your blood. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have brought us through and to. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for being our peace, Jehovah Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Thank you for being our provider. Thank you, Lord God, for being our healer. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping your promises to us in your word. Thank you, Lord God. We give you honor, praise, glory. We worship you. We magnify you. We exalt your holy name. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people. Show us what we need to see. Tell us what we need to know and be aware of in this season. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really, really appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for your love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We're so glad to have you here. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right. So let me go ahead and get into the message. All right. So a lot of truth has been coming out, being exposed um, layers and layers each and every day, just like um, pulling back the layers of an onion. So somebody has been exposed here. This is a karmic energy that has been exposed. Um, your divine partner know who's you, who you are now. And this person could be sending you telepathic messages. Um, you, you could be getting a lot of thoughts about them, uh, um, dreams or visions or whatever. They're trying to communicate with you that they know who you are now. Um, and that they know they, um, we're dealing with a gold digger and fake friends. All right, so this person has realized that this karmic energy that they were dealing with is an opportunist. Um, this is somebody who's plays the field. They are money chaser. Um, they're always plotting and scheming in the background. A smooth criminal. They're realizing that this person has been exposed. Um, they have been a very aggressive in this situation towards you, very proud, um, very harsh. All their secrets are exposed. This person is very self-centered, um, operating in vanity, wanting to be seen, doing stuff for status and clout and superficiality. Um, this, ver this person was very angry and also arrogant, emotionally unstable. And your divine partner has been enlightened about this now. Um, that this person was either their side piece or this karmic had a side piece. And they're finding out about this. Um, so they're realizing that this person was hiding. They were wearing a mask. Um, they was being very deceptive. They knew that you were your divine partner's soulmate. Um, connection ordained by God and that this person was going to move forward away from them and that they were going to be very successful with you have victory and success with you so this person this karmic started being very ruthless and cruel and brutal in the background um, telling a lot of lies this person was very very um, violent and cold and ruthless Spreading lies, slandering, and gossiping you. Trying to paint their picture of you to everyone. So that your divine partner would walk away from you. Um, this karmic was trying to get their way. They wanted your person as their wish fulfillment. They were being very selfish in this situation. They wanted your emperor. But they knew that. You were this person's wish fulfillment, and they were not. So this is why they did all of this plotting and scheming and being an opportunist in the background. And so there's a lot of information coming in fast about this. 
this could have been a karmic mother that was involved in this situation and also um, a karmic lover. Um, there's a lot of news um, and messages traveling fast at this time. And somebody in your divine partner is letting go of this um, this devil energy, these attachments and um, addictions, material, only out for being only being out for material things and superficiality, status and clout. This person is letting this go. And they're realizing that this person was doing magic in the background, a lot of spell work. Trying to cause instability for you and also for your person because they didn't want things to change between them two. So this karmic could have been this person's side piece while you were in a relationship with them. And so now this person is being exposed like crazy. Um, they're being publicly humiliated and shamed. This person is realizing that they need to heal. They have a lot of inner childhood wounds, this karmic energy. They have abandonment issues. Um, they feel lost. They have a lot of repressed emotions that they have not dealt with and trying to heal. This person has a low self-worth value and it's hard for them to let go of people. And then on top of that, they um, are assessed with power and control over others. Um, they're destructive. They commit a lot of crimes. They have a lot of infatuation. They're rebellious. They have secrets um, hidden and operating in their shadow self. This person is realizing that they need to heal and they need to change because they have hit rock bottom with everything that everybody is finding out. And this is a major life lesson for them. And so this person is um, having to make a U-turn. They're having to stop everything that they're doing, they were doing towards you uh, because they're going the wrong way. And they have um, met a tower and everything is crum crumbling for them because they made a very bad choice. And this person is seeing that they do not have uh, spiritual gifts they were one they were not aware this person is experiencing a lot of pain and grief right now because they are out of alignment with trying to um, everything they did to you trying to steal your divine partner from you because they wanted this person to be their wish fulfillment they're ungrounded and they're experiencing a lot of stress this person was a copycat they were copying everything that you were doing trying to make your divine partner interested in them but they're having to accept that you are the chosen one. You're the star seed. You're the one who had a contract with this divine partner. You're here on the divine mission. You're very authentic. You're a leader. You're a guide. You're very powerful with an old soul. You have a warrior spirit. Um, you have a calling on your life. You're, you're very strong. You're connected with spirits. And they were operating out of their shadow self towards you. Um, an unhealthy ego operating in greed, very selfish and rage and envy and very proud for overindulgences in desires, being very negative and impulsive. This person craved power and control over people. And they're a gold digger, very jealous of you, greedy, um, self-absorbed, selfish wishing ill intentions on you. And so now this person is realizing that they could not defeat you. So they have to give up and walk away because you are, your crown chakra is in balance. You follow your intuition. You are a seer. You are connected with spirit. And um, so there was no way that they were going to defeat you, but they were trying. So now this person is so mad and upset and angry that they have to accept defeat. They cannot win against you. 
anybody who is connected to the spirit of God and they're a seer and they follow their intuition, how do you think that you're going to defeat them when they're connected to spirit? Make it make sense. You're going to see every God is going to show you everything that they're doing. He's going to show you um, how to be 10 steps ahead of them each time with whatever they're trying to come at you with. There's no way you can defeat somebody who is connected to spirit that their crown chakra is imbalanced. So try it again. So this um this karmic partner, they're realizing that your um divine partner was secretly crushing on you. They were admiring you. They're very attracted to you. Um you give them butterflies. They know that this person had a lot of love for you and compassion. Well they didn't have a lot of compassion because they wouldn't have did what they did. But they know that this person has a lot of love for you. And they want this person to be interested in, in them as they were interested in you. They wanted this person to see them as they saw you. So this is why they did all of these drastic mag- measures in the background with all of this spell work. Um, they're not shocked. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't shocked that this person was admiring you and caring about you and loving you. They were ignoring all the signs and synchronicity that that God was giving them from the universe, telling them that this person, your divine partner, loves you, um, and they're supposed to be in a divine union with you. But they were ignoring that. They didn't want to hear that. They didn't. They they wanted what your divine partner was going to give to you. So this is why they were strategizing and being very sneaky and manipulative in the background and they were holding on with resilience. They did not want to stop strategizing in the background. Um, They were going to keep this going until they saw a victory. But um, because they did not want this person to be in a relationship with you, they did not want you to have a family with this person. Even though they knew that it was not meant for them to be with your person, they knew it. So either they were getting readings um, from a practitioner or the practitioner that they were going to to do the spell work was um, telling them that this person is has a contract with their divine feminine or the divine masculine. They're not meant to be with you, but they still wanted this person to, to do the spell work anyway. They didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to accept it. And they know that, you know, they were not supposed to be dating your partner and they was not following their intuition. They was overriding their intuition. And they were trying to do this spell work until time ran out with you and your divine partner. They did not want this person to have any celebrations with you. They did not want y'all to be seen in public together. They didn't want y'all to have any social gatherings to go to any events together. They did not want this person to get in a committed relationship with you or propose to you or marry you. So they were doing all of this um, strategizing and sneaking in line in the background and projecting and telling lies and being very ruthless and cruel and cold and brutal towards you all. And now they know that this is an injustice and there has been a divine intervention for you. The spirit of the Lord, the angel of the Lord has come in and disrupted this whole situation and caused all of these secrets to come out. Because you are your divine partner's um, wish fulfillment. You are the star seed energy. You are the healer. You are the one that has faith in God. And you're very stable and secure. And you're also um, stable and secure financially. And you're also emotionally secure as well. You're emotionally intelligent and emotionally balanced. And so they have to admit the feat and admit that you are the chosen one. You are the star seed. You are the real empress or the emperor energy. And they caused a huge injustice towards you by causing all of these illusions. They were a snake in the background trying to keep you from getting an offer from your divine partner. They want this person to be conflicted and confused about you. 
so that they would not receive your love. But the truth has come out. And now this um, divine partner is taking immediate action. And this person could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. But it doesn't have to be. So now your divine partner is realizing they're no longer confused about who you are. And this karmic can no longer delay or change or cause this person to be distracted. They are releasing this karmic and letting go, moving on, all of these karmic attachments, family, friends that were interfering in you all's divine union. They're walking away from them. They're no longer conflicted. They know exactly what decision they need to make now. They know that this karmic is not compatible with them. And they are walking away, saying farewell, leaving this whole situation behind. They have closure now because of this truth that has come out about this karmic. So this person is moving on to a new beginning, um, choosing their divine partner. They're realizing that this, this person was this karmic energies and attachments were causing delays and blockages. And now this person is fully aware. They are awakened and they are surrendering and walking away. They no longer want to deal with this karmic family of friends, anybody who has hidden motives and hidden agendas towards them. This did not work. What they tried to do is it was very unsuccessful. And now a lot of people are receiving a lot of bad karma because of everything that has been illuminated concerning this situation. And your divine partner is rejecting this karmic and everybody who was involved in this situation. And they're no longer um, in pain or afraid to make this decision. This karmic energies, they're sinking and hopeless and despair at this time because everything is falling apart. And if they were working with a divine, uh, a karmic masculine as well, trying to fix this situation so that um, your divine partner can be with them instead of you. They had help. And so your divine partner is telling this karmic and everybody who was involved in the situation with um, breaking up your divine union. They're telling them today on social media that they're not interested in this karmic, telling this karmic that they are not interested. And this person is crying in private now. And they're acting very crazy because they were a player, because they were opportunists. Because they were brutal and cruel towards you. And now they're acting crazy. To make it make sense. So they're realizing that you're not stressed. You knew that this person was your defined counterpart. And also your twin flame soulmate. But they didn't put in the work. They were not patient towards you in this situation. So now your divine partner is um, sending you telepathic messages letting you know that they know who you are now and they see that this karmic is a gold digger and they were dealing with fake friends um they're losing everything in this situation this karmic partner is losing everything and also this person is on drugs and um they're acting crazy at this time because they know that your divine partner wants to come back and reconcile with you. And they can no longer stalk you on social media because everybody is finding out what they've done. They've, they're experiencing public humiliation right now. And your divine partner wants you back. They want to reconcile. Um, a lot of them are going to courts and this karmic is giving them fake apologies or they're um, wanting to come back to um, apologize to you and that they're um, telling you that they're they love you and they're admiring you 
but somebody sees that you have new love coming towards you and they may have be too late because they didn't heal their childhood wounds and they want to communicate with you and send you a text message that they have um, or a, a direct message on your social media that they have awareness now. Everything is coming to light. They see exactly what took place here. So Ish has hit the fan and flying everywhere. And this person has been exposed. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going to be going on during this summer because all of this truth is coming out. There has been a divine intervention because you did not do anything that these people were projecting on you that you did. All of this lies, slander, and gossip trying to defame your character. They were opportunists. And it is coming to light. And people are shocked because they um, never would have thought that this karmic will lie. And family members never thought that this person would be doing something like this in the background just to take another person from somebody. This is a lot. <laughs> they were uh, resilient in this situation. They was holding on with dear life. They didn't, even though they was wounded and knew they wasn't going to win, but they were still trying to win. They were still trying to take something out, out of God's hands, make it make sense. And so now they're realizing that you are the real, true, divine feminine or the divine masculine, the empress or the emperor, the chosen one, the star seed. You are connected to the spirit of God. You're a seer. So they cannot defeat you. It, it was impossible. But they're learning a major life lesson in this. And they're losing everything that they wanted you to lose. Money, friends, family, losing everything. What goes around comes around. Whatever you you reap, that you will sow. I mean, whatever you sow, that you will reap. So it is not worth it. Do good so good can come back to you because it's a universal law. Nobody is exempt. All right, star seeds, that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you soon. Peace be with you.